guys, I'm Mika Chung. Welcome back to my channel, Godzilla vs. Kong. Directed by Adam Wingard and starring Alexander Skarsgård, Rebecca Hall, Brian Tyree Henry, Millie Bobby Brown, Julian Dennison, and upcoming feature star Kaylee Hoddle. Epic next chapter in the Mossverse pits two of the greatest ancient titans in a spectacular battle for the ages to be king, Godzilla and Kong. Apex cybernetics team with Nathan, a monarch geologist, Kong Whisperer, Dr. Eileen, along with Gia, a orphan Iwi native who has a powerful bond with Kong, embarks on a perilous journey into this amazing uncharted terrain, Hollow Earth, unearthing clues to the Titan's very origins. Bernie Hayes, an employer of Apex Cybernetics and host of a Titan Conspiracy Theory podcast, extracts data and discover with Madison and Josh the true sinister activities at Penascola facility that threatens to wipe the creatures both good and bad, with humanity caught in the balance, the beginning of the mystery that lies deep within the core of the planet. This movie was so long overdue through the years. There was 2005, King Kong, Godzilla, The King of Monsters, Kong Skull Island, and 2014 Godzilla, building up for the coolest moments in cinematic history. And it was worth the wait, the ultimate smackdown between the titans. I enjoyed every moment of this film. The visual effects are so advanced and finally getting to see what Hollow Earth looks like and the other creatures that live there. This place is beautiful. I wish I could have seen this in IMAX 3D, but I enjoyed it in 4K and the look of the film is stunning. And the coolest thing was the size and scale that made Godzilla and Kong look so huge in this film. Thank you to the VFX artists, you guys rock. I can see that the director definitely enjoyed making this film and especially the fight sequences. They are awesome when Kong had his armor. Every time I see Godzilla's atomic breath, that's when you know he is mad and he's ready to fight. The director did mention, I really want you to take those characters seriously. I want you to be emotionally invested, not just the human character, but actually the monsters. Definitely well said, and that's what I got from this film. The acting was good. The heart of the film was a connection Gia, played by Kaylee Hoddle, had with Kong, and can communicate by sign language. This was her first film. She is a natural. Y'all have to see. Brian Tyree Henry as Bernie, the conspiracy theorist that has a podcast to expose Apex. When he found out his hard work and research about cybernetics didn't go in vain, the expression on his face was like he struck gold. Well, he was hilarious. And as well, Julian Dennison. I enjoyed Julian Dennison as Bell's Nickel in the Christmas Chronicles. He was really hilarious in his role. They both brought comedic relief with Millie Bobby Brown's character, Madison Russell. And I feel it was definitely necessary for this film. We got to have a little humor at the same time while the world is being destroyed by these uh, Titans when they're battling. The buildings are breaking. <laughs> I'm just saying y'all. You know, there's definitely a missed opportunity for this film. When Kong was at Hall Earth, I wish there was one relative of Kong that was alive. That would've been cool to see one of his relatives communicate with him. There's something I want to mention that's kind of off topic, but not really. There has been so many stories, pictures, talking about if the world is hollow inside and mythical legends throughout history, creatures that could existed on land, sea, or sky. Sometimes we see a glimpse of photos, videos hidden from the world. We don't know, it's still a mystery. And let's not forget about the possibilities of some genetic engineering companies that want to bring back the woolly mammoth and other prehistoric creatures. Hey, I'm fine if they bring back the plant eaters only. <laughs> I had a good time watching this movie. There is definitely an Indiana Jones vibe with Alexander Skarsgård character Nathan. I give Godzilla vs. King Kong four stars. What did you guys think about the movie? What is your favorite scene? Let me know in the comments below. I'm your host, Anika Chung, and I'll see you next time on my next motion picture or trailer review. Love yourself always, and remember, be excellent to each other. All right, guys, see you on the next film. Cheers!